Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we are going to clear cache from Windows 11 and Windows 10 computer. We will also be optimizing browser. We will be removing cache from the browser, from the computer, from the local TAM and every possible corner of computer. We are going to remove the cache so that our computer will have good storage, good performance, faster boot and many other benefits. So the very first step, we are going to remove cache from the browser so you can any you can open any browser like Chrome or Microsoft Edge and once it is opened, press Control Shift and Delete key together. I'll repeat Control Shift and Delete. These three keys should be pressed together and here you will find a window like this clear browsing data so you can uncheck the other part and you can select cache image and file so you can see i have 324 cache uh, files and that can be removed so i'll click on clear data so this is the first step which we need to do and i'll close this window i'll do the same for my other browser press ctrl shift delete and a new window will appear clear your browsing data so i can see 323 mb is here and i'll just uncheck others if you wish you can do that and i'll select all time and i'll just uncheck others and here we just need to click on clear now once this is done i'll close this window and here in the search icon type storage that is a wonderful tool storage settings storage sense so whatever you get if you're getting storage sense or storage setting just click on that the best match and you will find a window like this where you have your c drive your total capacity of the hard drive and here you will see the installed apps how much data has been used for documents temporary files and we have some options here storage sense that should be turned on and also we will be getting the cleanup recommendation so i'll wait and here we have this advanced storage settings so we will look one by one we will look for temporary files you can see 25.8 gb that is huge so here i'll click on that and i have this some files like um, delivery optimization temporary internet file direct x cache and i have some downloads as well so you can check mark like this and you can remove that so you can see which all things are here previously windows installation files so i can remove that is up to you if you want to uncheck that that is fine all right so i'll just go back and here i have this cleanup recommendation over 5 gb of storage available that's a huge space so you can select your downloads and you can uncheck that previous windows installation files from a previous windows installation files or folders that may conflict with installation have been removed you can access the data from previous windows installation folder so if you wish you can do a check mark and you can remove it and here under cleanup recommendation we have this large or unused files so you can always have a look here that which all files are larger and you do not require it once you remove it there is unused app section see which all applications you use and which all uh, which you have never so if you see any application here then you can simply do a check mark and you can simply click on clean up so this will remove the app from the computer or you can simply search uninstall and then you can remove it once this is done i'll close this window and just do a right click and click on run and here type clean mgr which is my favorite command clean mgr and i'll click on ok and you will see a disk cleanup for windows c you can do a check mark like this and you can simply click on ok and this will remove the junk the temp files cache from the computer 
So in this manner, your computer will be faster. You can free up a lot of space and overall the performance of your computer will be way better. So just do a right click again and click on run and this time type temp temp. This is a, another location of temporary files. You can hit enter and then click on continue. And here we go. I have a lot of uh, junk and cache here. I'll press control A and I'll press shift read. So the moment I do it, some of the file needs to be skipped, which is absolutely fine. So I have just removed uh, and there is another location of temporary files where we need to mention percentage temp percentage and I'll just click on OK. So here there is another location press Ctrl A to select all and then shift delete to remove them permanently. So it's almost done and few files will be remaining that's fine. Do a check mark do this for all current items and then click on skip. So if some of the files are not getting deleted that is absolutely fine do not try to you know remove it just let it be like that all right so once this is done then you can start updating your windows by just doing a right click go to settings and at the left hand side you will find windows update install all the latest updates in your computer whether it's windows 11 or windows 10 this will make your computer more stable faster and better so this is how you can do that and you can let me know in the comment section after doing all these steps. There is one more tip which I want to give you is to disable unwanted startup items. And for that, you just need to do a right click and go to task manager. And at the left hand side, you will find startup app. You might have an option here, the startup and you need to go to the startup and here, uh, accept, I mean, leave graphics audio, Wi-Fi, security, or any other application which you need at the startup. Rest of unwanted things, you can disable it from the startup by just doing a right click and click on disable. So you need to check uh, that you're not disabling your sound, Wi-Fi, security or something. Only unwanted, unnecessary applications. So this will release the load from the computer. So when you turn on the computer, the boot time will be faster and it will take less time to turn on the PC. All right. So this is how you can optimize your computer. Let me know how is the performance after doing all these steps. And please hit the like and subscribe. Yes, please do it if you haven't done it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care.